Welcome to another very quick tutorial. Um, just wanted to show you guys, since we've talked a little bit about how to make realistic looking water, how to make very realistic water looking like this, um, something that would be perfect for a swimming pool or um, a small lake. How do you make this without using any plugins whatsoever? So let's jump right in. Um, I'm just going to start from scratch here. And the first thing we need is a plane. We're going to take our plane and we're immediately going to take a displacer. Drop, drop that in underneath your plane. Going into shader, we're going to add a noise. We already start to see the chop of our wave. And then we're going to add a subdivision surface and put this underneath it to smooth out the tops of our little waves in our water body. Uh, next up, um, since we're already getting pretty close to where we need, we need to have this animate the way we had the water moving in the opening video clip. So going into Displacer and clicking on your shader, um, we can just keyframe the animation speed. And what I found was a good animation speed for a small body of water was about 1% per 90 frames. Seems to be the sweet spot. So as you see as I play this, as it gets going, it starts to look a lot like water. So now that we've created our animation, the only other thing we need to do is give this um, a little bit of lighting. So I'm going to use the physical sky. And then I just created a material down here going into um, the material presets. And I really like the visual uh, visualized materials under uh, liquid and just the water material. I'm going to drop that in on my plane and I'm just going to do a quick render and there you have it. Just like that we've already created uh, very realistic looking water um, in no time at all with no plugins and this should help you in your 3D modeling um, as you're looking to uh, add water into your scene. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more tutorials.